Hey guys, this week in the rundown, the updated policy for tattoos and ball caps just hit the fleet. We have an interview with the director of the 21st Century Sailor Office on Sapper, and the E9 quotas have been released. The Navy has updated its policy on tattoos and ball caps for NWU Type 2 and 3 in a new NAV admin. Starting 30 days after the NAV admin release, sailors will be able to have visible tattoos below the elbow or knee without a restriction on size or number. This includes sleeve tattoos, which will now be allowed for sailors looking to go into recruiting duty. Also new, sailors are permitted to have one neck tattoo, but the size of the tattoo cannot exceed one inch in any direction. Check out the story and graphic on Navy.mil to get more details. The second part of the uniform update authorizes the wear of a Coyote Brown Command ball cap with the NWU Type 2 and Type 3. Read the NAV admin just released on NPC to get the full details on the tattoo and ball cap policy update. This week, we have the opportunity to speak with the director of the 21st Century Sailor Office, Rear Admiral Burkhart, as we kick off Sexual Assault Awareness and Prevention Month. Rear Admiral Burkhart addressed the importance of turning knowledge into action, looking out for our shipmates, and speaking up when something's wrong. Here's a bit of that interview. So what I want sailors to do is to be part of a team of professionals at a command that builds that command climate. And part of that is to not tolerate sexist behaviors, not tolerate sexual harassment or sexual assault or hazing. It's also not to tolerate the misuse of alcohol. I really want sailors to know that offenders victimize individuals under the influence of alcohol. So it's important to understand this approach and then be part of the intervention to prevent this from happening. And that will go a long way in our efforts. Check out the full interview and blog on Navy Live. Finally, the E-9 board convened and quotas are out for sailors hoping to make Master Chief. This cycle showed an increase of 80 quotas from last year. To check the full list of E-9 active duty quotas for cycle 229, click the link in our story on Navy.mil. Well, that's all for this week. For any questions, send us a message at usnpeople at gmail.com. For the Chief of Naval Personnel, I'm MC2 LJ Burleson. Thanks for watching.